a nightmare at the Ohio State Fair when a ride falls apart mid-air. One person died there and seven other people were hurt. It's just one of several accidents involving rides in recent years. And fairs like the one in Ohio are happening all around the country. The Johnson County Fair kicks off this week. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial is joining us. And Stephen, you talked to fair officials there in Johnson County. What are they doing to make sure rides stay safe? Well, first off, Dia, the Johnson County Fair does not have the same ride that had a problem in Ohio. And tomorrow, the rides that you see behind me will be getting inspected. It's a concern about their safety that's on the minds of many. As crews set up for the Johnson County Fair, go mostly for the kitty rides and the funnel cakes and stuff like that. All eyes are on the rides. So if they do their inspections out here. Earlier this week, a ride broke down at the Ohio State Fair, killing one and injuring others. Kind of makes you sick to your stomach. That was one of my kids. You know, it'd be awful. Angela Smiley is a mother of two. She takes her kids to the Johnson County Fair every year. Her concern is that the rides are safe. To the core of my soul, I want to think that everybody tries to do everything they possibly can, you know, and they're going to do that. And I would imagine they're going to do it even more so this year for everybody, especially with what just happened. Inspections of the rides will start Monday. Clarence Lindsay is on the executive board of the fair. He wants people to know that the fair here is safe. It was a tragic thing to happen. Uh, we don't think we'll have anything like that happen here. Uh, our rides are inspected uh, well, and of course that one was supposed to bend too, but things do happen. Henry Hicks is a father. He's not worried about the safety of the rides. Hicks hopes what happened in Ohio doesn't deter people from coming to the fair this week. Family outings, which are supposed to do a family, be a good thing with your family and help support the community. Now, the fair officially starts today with some animal exhibits and performances. If fries are your thing, that starts on Tuesday. Reporting in Johnson County, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.